And I'm back. So let's go ahead and run this mission. The Naked Avenue. City. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. I want to make a homicide. I mean, you know you All right. Mm. Wait, hold on one second, chat. Just like two seconds, literally. All right, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Boom. I didn't want to arrest a kid. What's with that get up of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. <laughs> Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. The canary says he'll sing, but only if I guarantee he walks. Heaven! You're behind the wheel. Nice. You seem distracted. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hunk. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages, the odds for and against lightning striking. Murder scene, 2.23 p.m. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Thanks. This one right here. Oh shit, look Bukowski, who it is. You made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Hey. How can we get on with it? <laughs> They're partners. Relax, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers think Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub, rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Phelps? Val, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. Take a closer look at her head and neck. The neck is bruised pretty badly. As if she was strangled. 
Bite marks? Bruising on the forearms, and these look like bite marks. Very good. Very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it. <laughs> <in the> <laughs> it spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Surettes. It would make my theory. And morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Surettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. This is her in these photos? She's something else. Yes. I. Mr. Lee was. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Hmm. She ran herself a bath and down some hills and then she just drifted off. Like barbiturates. They're there. Okay. Barbiturates. Hmm. What else is rattling around in this thing? Investigate it twice. We should speak to a doctor. Having both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Hmm. This is murder one. Get out there and find the guys who did it. Nothing significant. Yeah, I was going to say. Got some few pictures here. This is all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. We investigate further. Nothing on this one. Could have been a modeling assignment. Address. It's place to start. certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Nothing. All right, let's have a chat. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson. I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. It's weird Stanley how Vice only has town. three cases, someone has but to set unless if you have the order. DLC, um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? which this I, is one of the pre-order DLC. I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Victim's state of mind? Yeah. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. Doubt. Would she have killed herself for a man? Miss Julie would never have killed herself. She was a very determined young lady. One of those people who shake the tree for all it's worth. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week.
Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. Ah, uh, with the jacket. Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. But that's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find him? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. Relationship. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. <laughs> Perfectly fine, officer. I don't know if we have any. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. <laughs> Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. I'm at a loss. It's its plan. You want to go digging around in drains trying to support Mal's theory? You go ahead. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? <laughs> you Calling think the shots. called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle the dope. Let's see here. Can we find anything around that? Set in the alley, right? <laughs> Nothing yet. So what next? You want to go digging around in drains trying to support Mal's theory? You go ahead. I'm not getting my hands dirty. Locations. Music just turned on. On the first floor. Aha. Mal will be pleased. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. 
The autopsy will confirm it one way or another. I think our work is done here. Trying to inspect all the narcotics in Julia's apartment. Nice. All right, where does he want to go next? Advice? I say we check out the dress shop. All right, we'll do just that. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist them? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing off his lunch. S9 dress store 242 p.m. You're the reason brothers and sisters should have married. Well, hello. What can I help you with today? LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries Not about you. Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy and neither was I. <laughs> Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Playing a smart it very tactic. Uh... Do you mind if I take a closer look? That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends okay. for years. A truthful one. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. All right. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiance to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. 
She was so full of life. Can you drive to this one? Do we know Dr. where we're going? Stone's practice. Stoneman's practice, I think it was. Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. <laughs> Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. <laughs> With only two cases left. But hey. Yeah, that was pretty slick back there. Like, oh yeah, she loves the fast life. Make an assumption and then she's like, no, 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 not at all. I think I remember this mission. Five oh five. Five oh five. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. elevator. It's pretty small elevator. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. <laughs> Your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. <laughs> Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, detective. Relationship. How well did you know Ms. Randall? Fairly at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Do we have anything that says that? July 46. July. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? Your prescriptions contradict you, Doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I, I told her to slow up, but no. Life was too short for her. And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, Detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. <laughs> You wrote General Julia Randall medicine. a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Doubt. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Phelps Sounds like you knew her loves pretty well. yelling. I knew the line of work she was involved in. <laughs> That'll be all for now, Dr. I see why they changed it to touch. good cop, bad cop. Because bad cop is much more fitting than just doubt and Operator just screaming the at the person. <laughs> Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. Are there any messages for me? Yes, detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. Al? Cole, hey. can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. I 
you go. The nice office. You can drive. All right, where to? Hollywood Receiving Hospital. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician patient privilege card when they got something to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Hollywood Receiving Hospital, 2.58 p.m. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Oh, uh, not this one. Rehab is for quitters. <laughs> the janitor says. Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, Detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. Oh, here it is. There are three Paul, kinds Roy, of people. I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two-by-four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized Roy's morphine in dick, his blood. Right, man. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. <laughs> Hold up. Did we get all the uh, stuff? I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Jeez. Uh, Henry Arnett's over here. Oh, geez. Frame rate drop. Interview room two. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. Relationship with How victim. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. Did you know You trying to sit me down? Thank you. 
close. Damn it. We were friends. Miss <laughs> Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. What the hell is the LAPD up to these days? Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. I don't think that's going to prove. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Spill it, Henry. You know nothing about a man named Henderson? Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town. Somewhere back east. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? Anyone seen where Miss Wells went? No. So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. I've hidden vehicles. Some kind of <laughs> traveling salesman? Well, once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. Fighting six. You were in the 6th Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have them get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Nice. He's in that car at the lights. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low... I'd have expected a cat like Arnett to be a better liar. He just drove through the intersection like that. <laughs> That's us. Uh, I can tell it's six o'clock. My thing's turning yellow. Taking us, Henry. Jesus. Damn it, we got pink. He's off, quick.
never stepped foot in Okinawa. Where is he going? He needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. I need to get closer. Huff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car 